Welcome to ASAP Bar Cloud. ASAP Bar Cloud is a barcode based business application for inventory control and asset tracking in the cloud. This release of ASAP Bar Cloud includes these new and exciting features renaming data fields and tabs, adding unlimited data fields and tabs, role based control of which data fields and tabs users have access to, and adding data collection fields to the asset received transaction. Let's take a quick look at each of these items. BarCloud allows you to rename data fields so that they better match your own terminology. For example, instead of asset number, you may prefer to use the term item number or asset ID. Any data field and tab in BarCloud can be renamed. To do this, navigate to one of the data files. I'm going to go to the asset file, open a new record, and as an admin, you'll be able to edit the form and double click any data field to rename that field. I'll be renaming the asset number field and once the field's been renamed simply hit enter and click the save form button. The ASAP BarCloud mobile app will accommodate the renamed data fields in its next release. Additionally, you may also want to add one or more data fields to BarCloud's data files. For example, you may want to add a subcategory field to help identify an asset. You can add as many data fields and tabs as you need. To do this, you'll need to be in one of the data files. Here I'm in the asset file, so I'll open a new record. And as an admin, you can press the Edit Form button. And here you'll see two drop-down menus that appear, one on each half of the tab. Simply click the drop-down menu, and then choose the type of field that you'd like to use. Next, give the data field a name, such as subcategory. Then hit return and click the save form button. Once you're done you can click close. BarCloud's role-based access to data fields and tabs allows you to control per data tab and per data field which users have access to them. This means that if you don't want your standard users to see the cost field for example it's easy to do. To do this you'll need to be in one of the data files. Here I'm in the asset file so I'll open a new record and as an admin once you've clicked the Edit Form button, you'll notice a pencil icon next to each of the data fields as well as every data tab. So, in order for us to remove the cost field, simply hover the cursor over the pencil icon, and here you can control per user level who can view the data field as well as who can edit its value. Simply check and uncheck the boxes to set the controls, and then press the Save Form button and close the form. And finally, the ability to quickly and easily enter new assets into BarCloud is now greatly enhanced by the ability to add additional data collection fields to the Asset Receive screen. To do this, you'll need to be in the Asset file. Then, for any particular data field, such as the subcategory field we added earlier in this video, as an admin, you can click the Edit Form button again, and then simply choose the plus button next to the subcategory field, and then click OK. Once you've done that, click the Save Form button and close the form. We can now see if we navigate over to the Receive Transaction, you'll see the subcategory field is now available. The ASAP BarCloud mobile app will accommodate these fields in its next release. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more ASAP BarCloud updates.